Hello, welcome to a new video. So this is just gonna be like a random video just cause we haven't really uploaded anything for two weeks. Like uh, we have been playing a lot of Minecraft and our base is actually looking really good. We were thinking about making a video, but then uh, uh, we just wanted to come down and sort cards and everything, get everything organized, organize our room and everything, get all the cards, cards sorted out, <laughs> reorganize whatever we have left here. And, uh, Oh uh, no, we we uh we did we did buy something. Like there there's a whole bunch of stuff you missed out. We uh didn't want to like record organizing everything, like pulling all these binders and everything. Uh pretty much like we had all these binders up on the shelf here. They're like these binders are taking up so much space, they're taking up the entire shelf. <clears throat> if we could put something else up there. <clears throat> So we're thinking of like go through our collection, getting all these binders here, maybe moving everything into these boxes. <clears throat> Cause I think that's gonna save a bit more space here. So we have here is pretty much just a whole bunch of binders that we're not using. I think we like uh, took out all the cards already. So what we're doing is just going through our binders, taking out any cards if there's any in there. Uh, there is some cards in here, which uh, uh, might be like our Pokemon Go cards or whatever it was from our last open in there. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the other binder, but I think this is like one of, one of the binders from our last pack open -ins. We don't really open too many cards out here just because you're guaranteed to lose money. Oh, here's the Pokemon Go cards. Yeah, that was interesting, like all those uh, cards that we bought and everything, opening the Pokemon Go and everything. Uh, but you never, you never make your money back, especially especially if you're, if you're not like a uh, Poke Rev or something. Someone that gets paid for all the views. <clears throat> but essentially, I guess that's our Pokemon Go binder. So we still have like two, two binders we have to figure out here. Uh, we got another box here as well as we're thinking like uh replacing these boxes so a bunch of these boxes this was like all ripped and everything uh we already did go to the store over here we already picked up like 10 of these boxes so if we want to start throwing things in boxes to organize everything we could go and start doing that um there's some magic up here Uh, yeah, there's uh, magic up here. We just had to stop the video to catch our breath because I haven't made a video for so long and we we're just constantly talking there. Pretty much on the shelf, we have some more magic here, which is pretty much uh, stuff we haven't gone through. I think most of this stuff is just uh, bulk. There might be some expensive cards in here or something. Probably these uh, foils here. <clears throat> but as well, there's like some uh, Dragon Ball Z cards. So it's just like a whole bunch of these uh, repacks of uh, Dragon Ball Z cards that we packed up. We we're thinking of opening these and then maybe, maybe organize the uh, Dragon Ball GT cards we got. Because there is some cool ones. I know that there was a Goku somewhere. Oh, there's Cell right there, right? He's pretty cool. And then there's like Teed Gohan. Oh, no, that's Goten. <clears throat> so we do have a whole bunch of... Uh, Dragon Ball Z cards. I want to go through and maybe organize these. We might do that at some point. And then maybe we'll make a video showing them. Uh, over here, we have Pokemon. So we pretty much have like uh, whatever's left of our Pokemon here. Oh, so this would just be bulk. But oh, there's really any bulk down here. This is pretty much the stuff that we're still oh, looking through. We got a whole bunch of cool foils and everything a whole bunch of wotc cards and then here's like the all the wotc foils and everything there's apodos articuno Baltras, venusaur raichu it's pretty much like for these things we would usually keep them in the top loader here and then we'd have a tea bag and we keep everything protected and pretty much we had a whole bunch of uh, foils or something that were just worth like one or two bucks and they were inside these things. So we pretty much took all these out. Let me put these inside some boxes. <clears throat> uh, so just tell us just a bit of Pokemon to sort out here. Uh, down here, not just a bunch of hockey cards. We don't really deal with hockey cards too much. We don't really worry about that, but we do have a whole bunch down here. 
Uh, we're trying to go through, just reorganize, re-sleeve everything, fig figure out what we got, and then maybe try to sell some more cards here. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much what these are. So that's going to be, here's a whole bunch of card fight fan card cards. Uh, we had like 8,000 ready to go before, but then we just never posted them. Uh, we did also have like 8,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards out here. I thought it was going to be like 16,000 card fight, but it was actually like uh, 8,000 card fight, like 8,000 Yu-Gi-Oh. Just these boxes out here. Uh, so we're doing that. Um, all right. Yeah, so for these cards here, pretty much we had like uh, 6,000 card fight. And we had them set up into 1,000 card piles. Pretty much like each pile, here's like 100 cards. Then if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, there's like 1,000 cards per, per little like a uh, rectangle thing here. So like 1,000, maybe you can look at them or something. These are pretty much just like uh, cards that we have so many duplicates of. Uh, then we're pretty much going to go get rid of them because we don't need this many duplicates. We pretty much have like every single one of these in our binders already. I think we have like tw uh, 12 copies of all these in our binders. Uh, so what we're going to do is we have these boxes here. We could put uh, 1,000 cards in here. And we're looking at eBay prices. And I, I was hoping I could just post them on the like, Facebook marketplace and just be like 40 bucks per 1,000. Then maybe eventually somebody would come pick them up for 40 bucks per 1,000. Because I think on eBay it was like 40 bucks plus 40 shipping. So it's like 80 bucks if you want to get it shipped. So I, I think that's pretty good. Uh, so that's with that. What else What else can we talk about? Um, yeah, I guess these are the cards that we picked out. I guess like what we're, what we're pretty much looking for, like uh, before we sell them, we wanted to see if there's any artwork we wanted to keep. So if there's like the the gear cat, we, we, we stopped picking up this cat because we had so many of them. But this cat, we, we do like this cat. So we kept a whole bunch of them. As well as like any anime girls, something like that. I guess you can't see it, it's too dark and everything. Pretty much any uh, nice uh, anime girl card picks. I guess any that look cool. Like, I think uh, this art, it's really bright. It looks really good. The background and everything, it's so green and it's so blue. Yeah, this outfit's really good. Uh, so we got a bunch of card fight cards and we're not sure if we're going to be selling them yet. Then I think these, we have, we, I, I don't think we ever sorted through them. Like, there might be some new cards we don't even have here or something. Because uh, we've looked out here. <laughs> Pretty much this is just, like, all card fight vanguard. Except for these, I think this is, like, a mega bad, I would think. I think this is, like, a mega bad binder, maybe. Yeah, it's like uh, Mega Man cards in here. Because I know that we got some Mega Man and then we opened a whole bunch of them. Uh, they have a whole bunch of uh, Mega Man singles over here. So that's pretty cool. And then UFS. Uh, so we pretty much like organized all these, cleaned out everything that we found. Some extra binders in the other room there. <laughs> so I, uh, I didn't even know we had these. But you heard some like uh, UFC. So I guess just here's a whole bunch of uh, binders of a uh, UFC and everything. UFS, that's what it is. Universal Fighting System, is that what it is? Yeah, so we have a whole bunch of these cards. So we're not sure we're going to do these yet, but we pretty much just been holding on to them the whole time. And then these, I think, are mostly just like hockey cards in there. So maybe we'll look at like a uh, binder here quick. And then should we should we just look at a bit of like uh, magic and Pokemon? Look at a bit of everything. Pretty much like the uh, Bermuda Triangle, I think. This is where like uh, all the anime girls are gonna be. So we just have a whole bunch of binders of like all these different card fight cards and everything. And then pretty much uh, display pretty good. Maybe we just have like uh, four four copies of each of them or something. Oh, and we are supposed to be getting like a, yeah, it's supposed to be like two different ones or something. They're supposed to be like a black version and a white version. And we got both of them. Because so we're supposed to be getting like uh, 6,000 anime cards pretty soon. 
Uh, so we're trying to clear, clear this out, get some room, get some new room for the new cars to come in. Um, so besides that, maybe, maybe we'll just look at these boxes here. Because as we can see, we started to replace these. You probably even see it in the video. You can see this one's like so yellow and everything. Cause it's probably like six to ten years old or something. It's just been sitting around everywhere. It just gets dust and everything. There's nothing you can do. So these are brand new. And eventually we're going to replace all of them with brand new ones. So we're going to have to go replace these. That's going to be like four right there. We're going to have to replace these. That's going to be like another eight. We're going to have to replace these. That will be another four. So that's like 12 of them. And I think we have like these two boxes. I don't know if we're going to replace every single one of them. But we did break up a whole bunch of boxes already. So we do plan to replace those. Um, actually, here's a whole, whole, bunch, uh, whole bunch of random things. A whole bunch of Pokemon cards. So I guess this one would be empty. So we got one empty box. Maybe we'll just look through the cards that we already sorted here quick. If, if we have any room over here. All right, so let's say that first box was just the uh, hockey cards over here. Like I was saying, like we we have a whole bunch of hockey cards. Like we have we have some decently expensive ones. Like the, uh, they're not going to be these ones. Uh, pretty much like all these hockey cards, they're either in binders or they were in boxes. And the sleeves were so messed up on these things. These things were so old and everything. And we kept them in the boxes, but. They've just been in the same sleeves everything for 10 years. So what we did is go through like every single card, re-sleeve it. And then every single card is actually going to look a lot better in here. So we have that. Like I was saying, pretty much we're going oh, through our collection, organizing everything, taking everything out of the binders, going through the boxes, get our cards together, putting fresh sleeves on them, which uh, they're not fresh sleeves we actually uh, reuse a whole bunch of sleeves here all right so i figure since we're like going through the collection looking at everything i'm like well this is pretty much where like the more expensive hockey cards like all the patches and everything it's like uh numbered oh there we go 426 out of 799 that's yeah, pretty much like every, every single card in this box here. It's going to be serial number. We're not going to be able to see them or anything. They're going to have like a patch or something. Oh, those are like empty over there. But pretty much there's a whole bunch of good cards in here. There's like a one out of one printing plate. Ah, there's like a quad jersey or something. And then there's like all these things. Pretty much like all, the, all these cards that just have like jersey cards in them. They're just like serialized like... 11, I don't know, 17 out of 25. So it's made like 25 copies of this card. That's it. And we just have them in these cases. And then these tea bags. And eventually, I want to go through these and replace all these things. They even have like some of our own price stickers on it, I think. This was like 8 bucks. It was like 6 bucks. Eventually, there's, oh, this one. This one was pretty cool. I think it was like 1 out of 1. This is the only card in existence. It's the only one. We are pretty much just on like eBay buying a whole bunch of things. So we probably stop looking at hockey cards here. I think that's it. We got to go through, organize those, and then figure out what we do with all the uh, hockey cards and everything. All right. So the next one was actually the Pokemon box. But we're going to save the Pokemon for next, actually, because that's probably the best one. Or at least that's the one that we seem to care about the most anyways. So, pretty much, we just have a whole bunch of Magic the Gathering non-bulk. I mean, there, there, there could be some bulk mixed in, or the price could have gone down or something. Like, pretty much, if everything's like a dollar or more or something, there's like uh, $20 cards in here, or some like uh, $5 card. We just looked it up, too. We're going to the face-to-face -face games marketplace. I don't know what the Boris the Reckoners do. We haven't looked them up for a while, but I think it was like $9 there for, for a long time. We have like a whole bunch of Brilliant Ultimania. We have a whole bunch of those ones. We have this one. Oh no, there's like a $50 card. Oh no. 
it, it's just all like really really good cards that are worth like more than a buck and like i was saying went through resleeved everything oh the marsh flats this was from like some uh premium set i remember somebody pulled this in my store and then they came back and then they sold me all the singles for a profit Yeah, not sure if we really uh, care about magic. So what we were planning to do is we have them all organized by alphabetical. That took absolutely forever. Like, not only are we re-sleeving everything, like, if the sleeve is really dirty. Like, uh, down here, in this garbage bag, like, all these sleeves and everything. All these sleeves here. All these sleeves we replace. So many sleeves. And then we get new sleeves on them. So not brand new, like we're saying, like uh, we do have something. Oh, over here, baby. This thing. Like uh, we're, we're still organized. Like we've been organizing everything for like two, two weeks and everything here. Well, let's show you this here. We, we do have a whole bunch of video game stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do that. Eventually we'll organize it. So there's what, like tea bags? We, we didn't actually look at this box, but uh, I thought there was going to be a whole bunch of like uh, penny sleeves anyway. But as you can see, we do have a decent number of penny sleeves in here that are brand new. And we have a bunch of tea bags. Uh, so if we ever run out of penny sleeves, we should be able to come back to this box to get some more penny sleeves to sleeve up some more. But we haven't actually had to come back to this box yet because... Uh, we pretty much like keep our penny sleeves if they're still good like this box it was like pretty much completely full of uh penny sleeves but as you can see now it's empty there's no more penny sleeves in here because we used all the penny sleeves to re-sleeve the cards we, we, we can look at this one there is a whole bunch of penny sleeves in here this thing was completely filled up with penny sleeves at one point but then sitting there sleeping everything there's still so many down here because uh, you don't know how, like how quickly this adds up if you, you if you see like 1,000 cards it's gonna be like 25 bucks uh, so if you have like 4,000 cards it's gonna cost you like $100 in penny sleeves just to sleeve up everything so that's why we pretty much save them if they're in good condition if they just been in, like binders or something or if they were top loaders or pretty much if they're in good condition we're gonna keep them because they add up so quick that it's so expensive so yeah if you have a bunch of good penny sleeves just save them it'll save you hundreds of dollars when you're receiving everything ah uh, so should we go look at the pokemon then so we looked at everything we looked at like the hockey cards all the magic and everything all the boring stuff um as we were saying before, before we got like distracted with all the penny sleeves and everything, we have these all in alphabetical order for a specific reason. It took forever to alphabetize every single card here, as well as sleeve them. But we're looking at uh, face to face games, which, which is pretty much like the biggest card store. If you're looking to like uh, sell a huge collection, you just go to face to face games. We're in Canada, so it's really hard to sell cards out here. And then they have a buy list. And if you want to send them in, they have to be alphabetical. So what we're going to do is maybe go to the Facebook buy list. Maybe put all these cards in. They want to sell it there. And then maybe see if you can find somebody locally to buy them instead of shipping them out. So pretty much you just go to face-to-face -face games, set up your buy list, figure out what everything is, figure out what that price is. And be like, face-to-face -face games will give us this much. Anybody want to give us some more money for it? And then somebody will probably buy it for even more than that. As well as we're going to be bringing it to the local card store here, maybe. He, he's going to take a look through it again. We we took it to like a year ago or something. Uh, we're going to bring it back to him to see if we wanted any before we go try to sell anymore. Because pretty much we had them ready to sell. That we're like, uh, we don't really need the money at the moment. Uh, but I do believe if we trade all these in... We should at least get like 2000 or maybe like $3,000 in trade. Just think like if we take uh, all these magic cards, trade them in for two or 3000 bucks, then we can get two or $3,000 worth of Pokemon or something. 
Uh, get rid of all its magic, switch it into Pokemon. I think something like that. Or I guess uh, money or something. You can buy anything with it. Probably going to be Pokemon. Alright, and then the Pokemon box. And I was thinking we should probably end the video. Because there's so many, so many more things I want to talk about. Like, there's like these things that I bought that I wanted to talk about. So we're look, looking for uh, containers to store our collection and everything. And we're going to pick up some of these. I don't know. I can't find it at the moment. But it was essentially one of these things. It's just like two pieces of plastic. Then you can store your cards in there. And it stores like uh, 100 cards. Or there's one that stores like uh, 50 cards. Or like 150 cards. Uh, but we also found this. Because we could get like uh, five of those things to hold 500 cards. For like 33 bucks. Or we get this thing for 32 bucks, which actually has, I think, uh, nicer cases, maybe. And it can hold more cards. So we're going to do is maybe end the video. And then in the uh, next video, we'll go through the Pokemon here. Because pretty much it's going to be like all of our foils and everything. All we did was <sighs> any foil cards here. Go through, re-sleeve them. And just put them in the box. And they are actually alphabetically ordered as well. They're alphabetically here too. We alphabet alphabetically did every single Pokemon card here. So if we're looking for like a Raichu, he'd be the R section, right? Raikou, Raikou, Raikou. I, I think that was Raikou. And then Raichu's up here. If we're looking for Charizard. Charizard would be right here. Do we just have like one Charizard card? This box, that's it. We do have more Charizards, but this is the only Charizard here. And apparently this one's worth 40 bucks, Or it was when we priced it back then. So I guess this is a pretty decent uh, Charizard. Alright. Uh, then I don't know. Maybe we'll just end the video. Maybe we won't make a second video. But I think we went through everything. We got like, all these cards here sorted. We received them. We got them. All out of the binders and everything. We got uh, all the cards out of the boxes up here. We're going to take some pictures, sell those on Facebook, baby. Uh, we got like all these cards to go through. All the boxes are placed and everything. We got these cool new cases. We're going to check them out, see if see if they're any good. We also need to pick up like these, right? 400, oh, 200 top loaders. We do have a briefcase coming tomorrow. We have a top loader briefcase. That's going to be insane. We do also have some uh, display shelves. So when we set these uh, display shelves out tomorrow, we'll be able to display our cards. I think that's it. <clears throat> a little bit longer than I was hoping for. 23 minutes. But I guess this is uh, what we're doing. We have so many things that we have to organize and everything. So many cards. 